Hey, what's up guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Marvel Legends Deadpool and Wolverine movies. Wolverine in the yellow and blue tiger stripe suit. Oh my god, I love this movie so much. Have you been re-watching it? I think I've seen the movie four times now. I've watched the movie four times total. Absolutely love it. I already have my Marvel Legends Deadpool from the Deadpool Wolverine movie. If you haven't seen that review, check it out already. But this is looking okay so far, except for the lack of paint. Pretty obvious. Not enough paint right there already. It's bugging me some. Anyway, text looks good right there. You can see, uh, you know, concept art image right there, as well as on the side and on the back of Wolverine. And then there's the other figures you could pick up. I did pick up the other Wolverine and Headpool, so I'll review that later on. On the top of the packaging, you can see the Deadpool and Wolverine logo, and then not much more at the bottom right over here. So let's get to it and crack this thing open. And if you're trying to get your Marvel Legends, you can do so. What big, 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 get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. <laughs> And here's the Wolverine figure out of the packaging with a whole bunch of Deadpools back there. And man, I have had quite a bit of fun with this figure. I really do like posing it around. I think it does look pretty cool. However, God, they needed to add a lot more paint to the. I mean, it's just blatantly obvious that there needs to be just way more paint over the yellow sections of the figure. So that does frustrate me. I actually do like the color of yellow that they went with this. It's not as vibrant as I had expected it to be. So I like that part of it. And I do like the head sculpts quite a bit too. But yeah, there are things about the figure that do bug me. We'll get into all of that. But first, let's get a closer look at those head sculpts. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I love this Logan head sculpt. I think they did a really good job with it. Totally captures the likeness of Hugh Jackman in this movie. And I think it does look really, really good. I like this a lot. One thing I will gripe about, though, is the hair. We don't get the paint detail like we'd seen with the Fox Films Logan head sculpt. You can see some color variation, which I appreciate with the hair, you know? So having proper paint for the hair would have been a little bit better. And the eyes look really good over here. Yeah, th th this is just really good looking head sculpt. I think they did a great job with it. I wish we had another one where he's angry, but we already have two. And of course, I would rather have this masked head sculpt over having a second unmasked screaming head sculpt. And this looks freaking awesome. I got to warn you guys, though, I did heat up the fins right over here. So heat those up and then splay them outward and cool them down. Here's a picture of how it looked before I did that. So I don't know off the top of my head if it looks that much different, but to me, it looks just a little bit better and I think this looks really good too very satisfying man and I like that they got all the lines in here now in the movie there is some battle damage that we're not getting right here on this figure so yeah you could touch it up or you know I'm sure there's other companies that are gonna make Wolverine figures that have all those little details on them I do like the texturing that we're seeing on the top of the head right over there and I like how we have the facial hair the paint for it and everything on the mouth looks really good to me man very happy with it looks Dope. And then there's the back of the head and you can see that texturing continuing all the way through. Aside from the lack of black wash over it, I think this looks really awesome. So I'm very pleased with that. In regard to the sculpt, I think it looks fantastic, man. Uh, aside from, you know, not having the fleshy arms, uh, that is a little bit of a bummer, you know. So I do wish he had the fleshy arms for sure. Little details right there with the silver. Getting some bullet holes and knife holes and stuff like that. A baby knife hole over there would have been great. So, yeah, it needs way more battle damage than this. This is just way super clean and just not ideal for what you'd want for a Wolverine from this movie. Because, you know, they fought early on. Well, hey, there's a little bit of staining and I did get a little bit of staining on the figure so I know that's not intentional hell it doesn't count but as far as the sculpt itself goes aside from the arms thing I think these look fantastic I'm very happy with it looks really good right here with the gloves I love how the blades came out then here's his claws right over here on this side too looking dope so I'm really happy with those and he does have a set of interchangeable hands he has an open hand right here and then a fisted hand right over here on this side it's pretty cool, you know, I like how they made that. Looks pretty neat. And then looking at the rest of the figure, he has this nice looking belt. It, it is a little bit shifty. Then you can see some blue stainage right over here for me moving the leg all the way up and it running into this hip part that has the blue paint. But I like the texturing throughout on the figure. Looks really nice. There's enough color on it to break things up. 
as far as the design goes and everything. But yeah, we need to have uh, some wash throughout. I like that they got the texturing and the hinges right over here. That's pretty damn rad. And I do like the pinless joints, so that works out pretty well. Boots look really good over here too. Very happy with that. And you can see some treads uh, just on the sides. No treads really at the bottom, but we get those peg holes. I mostly like the articulation. I have my gripes. For instance, I do prefer having the neck hinge right here. We have the dumbbell joint, so he can look up you know, you can get him into some jumping poses and stuff, but not as high up as I'd like. Personally, you can move his head downward that much. Of course, you could rotate side to side, and you have some really good pivoting right over here. These shoulder pads are attached to this shoulder joint right here, and you do have a butterfly joint on the inside. It doesn't move all the way forward as far as I feel like it could possibly reach. Same thing with moving back, so you can see it shifting back and forth that much. It also shifts up and down a little bit which actually adds to the articulation so make sure that you have those shoulders shifted up at the butterfly joint because if you leave him shifted down it's gonna look really weird he's gonna have sid the sloth shoulders right and you don't want him to have you know those droopy shoulders so if you shift them up like that it looks better you can also move the shoulder outward just this far you're not going to get it up to that 90 degree mark which is a bummer you can move them down though and rotate a full 360 along with that shoulder pad you get the bicep swivel you have the double jointed elbows that do bend in all the way which is really good and then all of the hands have wrists that turn side to side and they hinge up and down you get a u-joint ab crunch that bends forward quite a bit and it does move back a bit and then you have the waist cut right over here you have hip joints that move outward he can kick forward very far 90 degrees back a little bit upper thigh cut double jointed knees which are a little bit shifty you know you can shift them around a bit but he could totally do the heel to the butt right there and then no boot rotation which the figure really needs it'd be a lot easier to get him to stand and to pose if he had boot rotation and i feel like they could have added that in there making a cut just underneath one of these straps that would have worked out really well I, I, damn it but nope they didn't do it oh, damn it i want that rotation right there anyway you can move the ankles down they will move up a bit and he has beautiful ankle pivot i do feel this lower knee joint getting awfully loose on me, maybe just on the right side right here. So be careful with that. Now to measure out this Wolverine figure, you could see that he is standing right at about six and a half inches tall. And for a size comparison, you could see our new Wolverine figure next to the Deadpool movie Colossus. And we have the Deadpool and Wolverine Deadpool figure right here. And he does stand a little short compared to the Wolverine. I feel like they're supposed to be closer to the same exact height, but it's not that far off. Yeah, the Colossus is a bit oversized, but damn it, such a cool figure. Would have been really nice to see these two characters on screen in the movie, right? Oh, that would have been dope. And then for a Wolverine or Logan comparison, you can see we have our Fox Films Logan and Wolverine and Logan again right here with this Logan head on here. These two look awfully similar. They are not the same exact head sculpt, but damn, the expression is the same. The hair is different on the face and obviously also on the head. But yeah, when I busted this figure out, I'm like, wait, holy crap, is it the same head? No, it's not the same head sculpt, but very similar indeed. And if you want to do head swaps, you can make it happen. It's not hard to do. You could do it with these figures. Here's this angry head popped on right there. And that does look pretty sick. So if you want your teeth gritting Wolverine, ah, that's pretty cool. You could do that. I wonder if this one will fit on there though. I don't know, because it's got a very different kind of body mold. Let's see. <laughs> All right, it does. Wow, that does look a little bit weird. <laughs> For the sake of being thorough, and then here's this one as well, which, ugh, uh, yeah, no, I'm not liking that. And then here's Wolverine next to our comic Tiger Stripe Wolverine or the X-Men 97 Wolverine. And, you know, when you see how short he is right here and like how they portrayed comic Wolverine all super short. I mean, he wasn't husky like this, right? You know, but I thought that was a hilarious scene. And then here's our new MCU Wolverine next to our MCU Endgame Hulk from Marvel Legends. And then we have the Avengers Infinity War movies, SH Figuarts Hulk. And I didn't really pose these fighting together, but I like that they scale pretty well. I don't know. I think that looks pretty damn sweet. I mean, we got that one short little clip but damn it would have been nice to see them fight each other but i can understand why they didn't do all that because it kind of would have outshined the movie right it's deadpool and wolverine not just a wolverine movie and then for another mcu figure comparison i cannot wait to see our tom holland spider-man next to this wolverine right over here in a movie at some point whenever i guess in secret wars we're gonna have to wait a while but damn uh both of these figures look sick it is weird seeing wolverine standing taller than spider-man though but 
that's what this Wolverine is. Hugh Jackman's a tall dude. And here's our new MCU Wolverine next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider Man. Oh, no way. Uh, I've been waiting for this moment for so long. <laughs> I've been practicing. <clears throat> Here we go. <clears throat> me, 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 me. This is the greatest show! <laughs> And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a great time taking many photos of this Wolverine figure. Holy crap. If you liked the video, please hit that like button. And if you're new here, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you want to share the video with your friends, I sincerely appreciate it. Thank you guys. And this figure, I think is really cool to have. I do need to customize it. Now, if you're really, really bummed out about the paint job, I would actually recommend you just don't buy this because you're going to be pissed off the whole time you own it. Like, unless you're buying it to purposefully customize it, which I'm eventually going to do, you're going to be mad at it because you're just going to miss out on all the details that you'd expect for after watching the movie. So I totally get that. But for me, I still had a great time posing this, slashing around Deadpools. I had a great time posing it with the Deadpool figure that came from the movie from the same wave. So... That's cool to have just for that. I'm still stoked over the movie. So having this Hugh Jackman Wolverine with the mask on and everything, oh man, I'm just stoked to have it. I, I've been geeking out over the movie and the figures helping with that. So I've had a good time with it, but it definitely has its flaws. It's mostly with the aesthetics more than anything else. I did complain about the boot rotation. There is some staining issues going on with those thighs. So that definitely bugs me. So yeah, it's not a perfect figure by any means. Not anywhere near it. But damn, the head sculpts are great. The articulation is really fun for me anyway. I did enjoy the articulation and I like the figure, man. What can I say? I do plan on customizing it. It does Definitely lose points for lack of paint on the yellow, but at the price point of around 25 bucks. Still, I'm going to give this Deadpool and Wolverine movies Wolverine figure a sud rating of... I love it! And I'd like to know what you guys think. So please, let me know in the comment section below. I do read the comments, even though I don't respond to everything. I do give them a read. If you want to follow me on social media, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and on Whatnot. And we have a giveaway for a Deadpool figure on the next Whatnot stream coming up this Thursday. Hope to see you there, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace! That's crispy. Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.